we were just uh, talking to Buck and Bob about this, but what was going on on the mound there when, what were they looking for? You had to take off your hat, they checked check behind your ears, you know, what was going on there? Uh, I think he was checking for some kind of substance that was helping me spin the ball or something. Um, I've seen it before. I think he's done it before. But, um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't have much to say about it. It was, you know, at the point in the game when it, when it happened, I was so dialed in already. All my pitches felt good. I felt like I was executing, so it almost just kind of lit a fire under me. It was came out, told me Buck wanted to check, you know, my face, my glove, my hat. Um, but yeah, at that point, I was so dialed in and, and so focused on on getting outs, it didn't really, you know, affect me too much. Yeah, you seemed to just pick up after it happened, right where you left off. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a win or go home game, so uh, they were having a lot of trouble squaring me up, and you know, I feel like that was his last attempt at you know trying to push me out of the game there, and um, you know, they took their shot, but. I don't know. I mean, the only thing I have to say is you better be very confident that no one on your side is using anything if you're going to call out someone on our side. So, back in the right, Joe. What's the feeling of coming through in such a big way in such a big game? Uh, yeah, it feels great. Um, feels a lot better now than it did before the game. <laughs> Sick to my stomach all day leading up to this. Um, I don't know. This is something that I've been preparing for for a long time. Um, you know, you go over it in your head so many times as a kid about getting the ball in the biggest moment, um, on the biggest stage, and this is something that we do, you know, a lot of visualizing on in the off season is, is moments like this. And uh, me and Nola spent the whole off season together, um, throwing to each other, and well, him catching me, I guess, not throwing to each other, but um, him catching all my bullpens, training together, working out together, and um, you know, nobody outside of that group that was there, club was part of that, Stam and Crony for a little bit. Um, you know, nobody's going to know what was put in there and, and the amount of effort and, um, you know, focus and attention to detail. Um, no one's going to know that like we do. And that's something we talked about on our walk in um, from the bullpen to the game is, you know, now it's time to trust everything that we did, everything that we prepared for is for this moment. Um, and the last thing I told him was, I'm going to go pitch a game in my life. And I believe that. And if you don't believe it, no one else is going to. And um, I feel like I learned a lot about myself in here tonight. Um, throughout everything that happened throughout the course of the game and, and the severity of the moment. Hey, we stay in the middle there, Jake. How's it going? Yeah. Um, when they came out to check you later on that inning, you struck someone out and made a motion towards the Mets dugout. I'm just curious if you could walk me through that. Obviously, you were pretty fired up. Yeah, I mean, I like a lot of guys on that side. You know, I have nothing against those guys. It's just, you know, the competitor in me. Um, trying to find an edge there, you know, they came out to get their edge and get me out of the game. So, you know, I took that as a chance to get my edge and, and use whatever I could to, you know, to motivate me to push through that last inning or two. And at that point in the game, uh, what was it bottom six? I don't know how many pitches I was at, but I figured I was probably, you know, coming towards the end of the line. We got a really strong bullpen and a couple guys down there that are really fresh. So I knew if I can get it through the, the sixth or seventh, we can go to those guys and. Honestly, going into the game, I wasn't thinking about trying to go seven innings. I was just thinking about being as quality as I could for as long as I could. And if that's four innings, if that's five innings, so be it, because uh, we got a really strong bullpen. And you know, the runs early in the game, uh, a couple really good defensive plays allowed me to get through seven. And then just quickly, you know, your ear. I know there was a lot of discussion on it. Just asked, uh, Andrew McCutcheon went on Twitter and said that he thought it was hot sauce. Um, I'm curious just to ask you straight up, was there anything that you put on there before the game, whether it was illicit substance or anything, or was it just an effect from the lights on, on TV? No, I mean, maybe just an effect. I mean, we're sweating my ass off out there. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't know what they saw or what it looked. I haven't seen any video or anything, but, um, I mean, they came out, checked me, didn't find anything, so. Ron, right there on the left. Oh. Does, even if there was nothing going on, does part of you think that the reason they asked to be checked was to disrupt you? I don't know if it was the timing or anything. Maybe they thought that that would, you know, rile me up and get me a little bit outside of my game. Um, you know, but I'm aware of that stuff. You know, I think about every possible situation I could be in, um, in, in the night before I start. You know, I go through, you know, from the start of walking out of the dugout to the bullpen to warm up. You know what that's going to sound like, um, and what's going to feel like if I get runners on early in the game. What's the energy going to be like? What's my mind going to be thinking? Where am I going to want to go? And I try to combat those things the night before I start, so that when I get out there, um, whatever happens is, is something that I've been through before and I know how to manage it. So anything like that. I mean, that's not something that I, 
visualize was them coming out and checking me, but um, yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm ready for any situation that goes on. What's going through your mind when Alfonso's plucking your ears almost like he's trying to pull a quarter out? <laughs> now you're not going to find nothing.